Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. Working with our friends over at Comp Cams, we're going to demonstrate the following. First of all, we're going to demonstrate how less boost equals more power. Then we're going to show you how more boost equals more power. Confused? Don't be. In part one, we're going to take a supercharged 5 liter Mustang engine. We're going to replace the stock cam with a comp cam. When we do, the boost comes down, but the power goes up. Then we're going to change the blower pulley. When we do that, the boost comes up and the power comes up. You see, it's possible to do both. More power with less boost and more power with more boost. So let's check out that test motor and jump on the dyno. Before we can illustrate the changes offered by a cam swap to both boost and power, we needed a test motor. Now our test motor was a 5 liter Ford equipped with aftermarket cylinder heads, a GT40 intake and injector upgrade, all fired up by a Kenny Bell twin screw supercharger. Now all this was dialed in with a fast XFI management system. We started out by running the supercharged configuration with a stock cam. After getting our power and boost numbers with a stock cam, we replaced that stock cam with an Extreme Energy 274 cam from Comp Cams. Now that Extreme Energy cam offered a 555-565 lift split, a 224-232 degree duration split, and a 112 degree lobe separation angle. Now that cam was a serious step up from the factory cam and it's always been one of our favorites. So what happened to both boost and power when we made the cam swap? Check it out. Okay guys, the results are in. And as you can see from our power graph, swapping the cam on our supercharged 5 liter was worth some serious power gains. Stepping up from that stock camshaft to the Extreme Energy 274 improved the power output from 437 horsepower and 436 foot-pounds all the way up to 478 horsepower and 456 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, those were some serious gains. And as you can see from the boost curve, the boost actually went down from a peak of 8.6 pounds with the stock cam down to just 7.6 pounds with the Extreme Energy cam. Now, why did the boost go down? That's because boost is just a measurement of restriction. And we improved the flow rate of the motor with the camshaft. So we reduced the amount of restriction inherent in the motor. Now that we've shown you how to make more power with less boost, let's show you how to make more power with more boost. And that was an easy thing. All we had to do was change the blower pulley. By increasing the boost from 7.6 pounds up to 9.3 pounds, the power output jumped to 508 horsepower and 483 foot-pounds of torque. But that's a no-brainer. It's always easy to make more power with more boost, but it's really cool, like with a cam swap, when you can make more power with less boost. I'm Richard Holder, and that's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.